we are going to find the area of this trash can surface. Surface area. Circle. Okay, how are you going to do that? We are going to create two cords. A cord is a line segment going from one point on, point the, circle. on the circle perimeter to another point on the circle perimeter. Okay. This is cord number one. So we got one cord there. Here is our second cord. Okay. Now, so when you... Take it away, Irfan. To find the midpoint of the circle. The, the center? center? The center, midpoint, same thing. All right. Um, you will need to find, you will need to have a perpendicular bisector. What's a perpendicular the, bisector? A perpendicular bisector is a, um, a line segment that bisects mm -hmm. the line in two congruent pieces, and uh, these four angles right here are 90 degrees. Okay, um, so... And so... So and is it another chord also? Huh? Could you could consider the... Um, yeah, you could consider that another chord because it's on the line. It's on... The line okay. segment is on the perimeter of the circle. So sh show me with your hand. Which which ones are the original chords and which one are the new okay, so uh, bisectors? These, these two are the original chords. Okay. And then these two are the bisectors. Right which here. two? One so right here. This is the second perpendicular bisector. And this is the first perpendicular bisector. All right. And they're perpendicular to the first chords? This one and that this one? This one is perpendicular to this one. And this one is perpendicular to this one right here. Okay. And create the center. Uh, and the center would be at the point of intersection of these two perpendicular bisectors, which so, would be around right here. So right there is the very center around of the circle. Wee yes. wee. Okay, so... And we, we, could you consider the point from here to here the radius? From right yes. here to right here, that, could, that can be the radius, yes. And it can be? Yes, it can be the from radius. From here to here is the diameter. So two radii equals the diameter. All right, so let, let's, uh, are we going to measure it? Yes, we will. We All will right. measure it in inches because we are in the United States. So. You know, actually, I'm going to interrupt you there. Let's, let's measure it in centimeters because, you know, soon enough we will be entering the metric system in the United States. Okay, that sounds like a brilliant plan, young man. Thank you. Please call me, sir. So, 55. Sir. Five. Sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Okay. All right. So, from right here to right here. From 55 where? 55 from right here, from this perimeter, this point on the circle. Okay. To this point, which is diameter, this whole point. 55 centimeters. You got 55 centimeters so of diameter. So your equation would be pi 55 squared. So pi times 55 squared. Why? Because that's the equation of a circle. To find the area of a circle is pi r squared. Pi r so squared. Oh, so yeah. the radius is the r. Yes. Yeah, so so this is the diameter is 55. That means the radius, radius. Would, be 20, would be 22, 27.5. 27.5. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it would be pi 27.5 squared. What if so, we want to find the circumference, Irfan? The circumference. Well, can we find the area first, and I will teach you guys how to find the circumference. That's a great idea. So uh, 27.5 squared is, is the area? 27.5 squared times pi is the area of the circle. Wait. Okay. And then the circumference can be found by either doing 2 pi r, which would be 27. Why 2 pi r? Because that is the equation of finding the circumference of a circle. So it would be 27.5 times 2 times pi, or it could be just the diameter times pi. So it could be 55 times pi, since the diameter is 55. So it would be, the equation could also be pi d. So the, di <laughs> so the diameter is 55, so it would be 55 pi. So that, that's what the perimeter would be? Uh, yeah, that's the perimeter of the circle, which is so also all around the circumference. The circumference is 55 pi. pi. Yes. Okay, and what was the area again? And the area is 27.5 squared times pi. Okay, so we got that. Just to go over real quickly how we got that. Okay, because since this, this whole diameter is 55 centimeters, mm -hmm. um, this... If you, if you had half of the diameter, which would be the radius, so yep. two radius equals a diameter, uh, the radius would have to be 27.5, since 55 divided by 2 is 27 and a half. Okay. So it would be 27 and a half squared times pi, which would be your final answer. All right, and how, how'd you get the perimeter? Uh, because it's, the equation is 2 pi r. So 
because the equation is 2 pi r? Yes, or pi. G. Oh, and you plugged in r? Yeah. So it, r was 22 point, or 27.5? 27. 27. Yeah. All right, and what was the parameter again? And it was uh, 55 d. Okay. 55 pi. All right.